good early morning everybody we're so glad you're here we daily vlog so if you enjoyed this video make sure you come back every day look at this before 6 a.m and we're gonna get back in the car hopefully james will stay asleep Georgia border um, but she's been sitting a lot back here with me which I think I mean er, she would always like act differently once I was pregnant so I'm curious if she's back here with me because of that because it's like I don't know she wants to keep me safe she's so fluffy you like the mountains in Georgia but we still have to like dip out back out of Georgia and then back in but still this is great 718 all right so we decided to stop since James woke up he needed a diaper change and it was a good time for us all to get to the bathroom let her out but want to know something weird that Sarah and I have done multiple times now driving to Florida so many times. This is the Dalton stop and un, like just serendipitously, we have stopped this so many times to get gas and go to the bathroom. We are just like that ingrained in creatures of habit, like mentality, that we've been to this BP and not even realizing it until we pull and we're like, hey, we, we've been to this BP before. Look who's awake. Where's dad? He like stood up here and like peeked around there like expecting Peter to be there. Where'd he go? He took Evers out. Cheese it's for breakfast. Are you serious? Hey, take, take a bite. Take a bite. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Cheese it? Mm-hmm. Eat it. Take a bite. What are you eating? Dance it, tease it, dance it, dance it. We're in Georgia for real now. Yes, we are. Passing through Atlanta. I will say, I like their skyline. It's impressive. Yeah. I like all the different kinds of buildings. It is wide. Yeah. Look at this little sweet poo on my pillow while I edit. You can see your missing tooth better in this clip. He's so happy. You rested. And we discovered today that we have a major Cool Ranch Dorito fan. I mean, who isn't a fan of Cool Ranch Doritos? <gasps> That's so good. Just watched Brave. He was a fan. Want to get changed out of your jammies? I have absolutely no clue where we're stopped right now. <laughs> Hold on. All right, so we are south of Macon, but still have a ways to go until Valdosta. Ah! <laughs> it must be rainy. It's starting to rain. Ooh, <laughs> shake it out. <laughs> He's got my headphones. We are 
four and a half hours from Epcot. We're not going straight to Epcot, um, but I, that's what I easily searched in um, in my phone. <laughs> Evie, Evie, Evie got in the... Oh gosh, were you trapped, Evie? <laughs> the neck strap was around her neck, which caused me not to have a good handle on James. <laughs> and he was hanging on <laughs> for sure. All right, here we are. Sarah's been driving the last 150 miles. Florida, welcome. So we are back in Florida. Evie, what do you think? She's turning for a nap. What she want to take? <laughs> she refused it. So does James. So does James. Look at that. Exhausted. Just won't give it. So another like three and a half hours. All right, we're doing one last gas fill up and bathroom break. James is still asleep. We're about two hours away. It's 80 degrees. It is 81 degrees. And for sure the sunshine state. Want to run in? Yeah. Do you look 70 years old? What? Exactly. Yes. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that fish run. <laughs> that is a Disney World baby. <laughs> I honestly think though he might be more excited for the parking cones <laughs> than Spaceship Earth, but it is 8 o'clock and in very much Brookhart Project fashion. We are still making a top top. We are still getting it. We have Every ounce we can get. Petruses are still in there? Yeah. Show's at 9. We have an hour to get to World Showcase and enjoy. That was the coolest thing in his entire life. What? He is frozen. <laughs> it is so cool because, like, Jamesy's obviously been here before, but three months. Once or twice. Almost four months since we've been here last. Like, Thanks, that makes a difference. Yeah, he's like much more his... like cognitively yeah. developed. Whoa! Look at this goes with it too. <gasps> <laughs> that was great. Oh. Oh. Wow. He saw them from across the way and we're like, we gotta go over there. You see Marlon and Dory in my Limo? goodness. So cool. So nice. Let's go see Donald. There is a new scent called Snow. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because Sarah and I made a rule. Yeah, we'll go over there. Oh. We said if they had these sweaters, we would get them. But I don't know, are these, are, do we like these prints? I feel like that has to be an element too. Yeah. No, it is. I'm like, I don't know about this because it's too plain. Yeah. I wanted more of I do stuff. like this. This is very Kirsten. Yeah. And like, you don't ski. Are you kidding me? They have more of the designs? <laughs> uh, it is a gorgeous Epcot night. Uh. The pre-music, the pre-show music is going. James is like 
70 years old now in his bugaboo. Ah. We're just gonna stroll. I think I'm gonna get a shelf and half. I think, I don't know, I wanna get something to snack on. Yeah. But like, there's no festival. Right I know, now. and we only have like 15, 20 minutes. Get an egg roll. Ooh. Look at these egg rolls. And I have never gotten tea from there, but it's honey hibiscus tea. Pretty good. And it has boba in it. <laughs> Woohoo! Jamesy, I got the whole thing for you. What? Good evening. In just 10 minutes, Epcot will probably present <laughs> harmonious. Jamesy, we just listened to this in the car. Are you ready? All around us, the world is alive. <laughs> You had entertainment the world and a snack. We hope you carry a song with you. You gonna carry a song with you? <laughs> does this feel good or what? It does. <laughs> and we are just gonna take a slow stroll. Cause we started pretty close to the park. Yeah. Slow stroll around, go in all the pavilions, show them all the fountains. We promised James to see all the fountains. Yes. He's a huge fan. So so far and we're. The fountains in Chicago have been frozen, so it's like. They've just been off. They don't let them freeze. That'd be irresponsible. In Morocco. What? Do you love this fountain? What's your rating? His immediate reaction was the best. Yeah. I don't know, he liked the Germany one a lot. See? He loves it. I don't know, do you like that one or Italy more? Okay, uh, we probably have a winner. What do you think, James? Yeah. yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. The France Pavilion. I feel bad. He really does want to touch them. I know. Well, Typhoon Lagoon's open, Jamesy, so maybe we'll get a chance this week to get hop on over there. All right, so we're like 90% positive in our plans. So tomorrow I'm taking the day off of work. I'm working the rest of the week, even like 5K and 10K day. Like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up, go do the runs. That's and... why we're here. It's the Dopey Challenge. <laughs> even though I haven't run in over four weeks. Um, but it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be fun. This is a side note. Yes. But, so like, I am gonna like work, I'm gonna run Thursday, Friday morning, and go back to our Airbnb and work. Um, but tomorrow I took off. Yes. As like my New Year's, like I work to New Year's Eve and I get like, I get a day for New Year's Day. So I'm using that for tomorrow. So we have a plan, but we also talked about, because we, when we renewed our annual passes this past month, we included water park for us. So we, I just like, and it just opened yesterday, and we are Typhoon Lagoon, Blizzard Beach has been open. Blizzard Beach closed as we get in Typhoon Lagoon open, so it just feels like, how right. can we not go? So we might do like a split day, it's chilly, We're, the world's kind of telling us just go spend your day at Magic Kingdom, or Magic Kingdom Resort, with Magic Kingdom, I don't know. All right, so we know Christmas is over, and you guys know the blasphemy that the Brookhearts destroyed the Christmas tree like the day after Christmas, basically. But we've enjoyed a few pieces of Christmas in Epcot tonight, and this is our jam. We like, I mean, I feel like we, we're very reserved in what Spode we buy now, because we have so much, yeah. but That's Spode is our Christmas jam. We really haven't been appreciating the 50th statues. We did not know that Bruni was on Olaf. Are those cool or what? Yeah. Alrighty, we're headed out. Wow, that was a fabulous night, guys. Thanks. We did all that in and out. Yeah. 
10 11. 10 11. Two yeah. hours. Two solid hours. So we are back at the Airbnb and I realized that like in all the hustle bustle of us packing and getting ready to go and leaving that we forgot to mention that we have tested negative for COVID now with at-home rapid tests. Um, so that's great. Also, we got our paperwork situated with our doctor um, for the cruise because that's important. We'll go into more detail about that as the, group, as the cruise gets nearer um, with like what we had to get done. Um, but yeah, it feels great, especially now that we're like 12, 13-ish days past when we first had symptoms. Um, yeah, I was just like, I mean, it was tough. We had mild symptoms, but we were very, we were very grateful that those mild symptoms, like we were able to handle those symptoms in the comfort of our home and that the timing with this trip worked out where we had plenty of time to recover before leaving. So that is our COVID update. And I think I'm gonna order some food. I promise one day I will properly do my hair all the time. Maybe it's like a, maybe it's something that happened to me with COVID and the pandemic and not going to work anymore. I don't know. That's James making much ice cream. I'm here to give you a quick very quick brief tour of our Airbnb. Please don't mind the baby making ice cream. Hey, stop making so much racket. You are just chaos right now. You need to go to bed, James. Here is the entrance to our lovely 2-2 I, it, it looks like an apartment to me, but I can't tell if these are apartment complexes. I mean, like, this building looks like apartment complex, but it looks like it's also, like, condos. I'm not sure, because I don't think you could Airbnb apartments, but there's storage in there. Big dining kitchen mix space here. Beautiful kitchen. Lots of storage. Good uh, appliances. Sarah's lounging on the couches over there. Three TVs in this joint because three bedrooms with all with smart TV, fire sticks. Two bedrooms, one living. Yes. He's choosing chaos right now because it's late and he needs to go to bed. <laughs> Stop beating up Mickey Mouse. Um, full wash dryer, which is awesome. Storage closet there. So look at this like wide view. Oh, there's a wall behind me. Awesome, lots of space. Bathroom number one, full with tub. Pretty, pretty nifty. I'm also holding Eve. Then down this hallway is the master, which will actually be James's room. They had that Alexa provided, so I'm actually, we forgot ours, so that's what we play for rain noise for James. Camera, pack and play, TV, king bed, closet, cool. Here is the second bedroom which is a larger bedroom. So this I think is like actually supposed to be the master. It's got two fulls, TV, big closet, walk-in closet, and a full bath, just shower, with two sinks. One's for me, one's for Eve. Uh, very nice, very spacious, very new. Look, it smells like new paint in here. It looks like very few people have used this. It's listed as brand new. What? <laughs> He, it's like the third time he's done that. Like he, like the, the chair and table are so high. We need to get you in bed. I'm bringing his daddy's. <laughs> Say the real sign off. Three, two, one. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>